Nelson. It is April 30th, 2018, 2 a very windy day today. Whoa. <clears throat> and I'm probably going to have to turn down the, the brightness. So, boom. There. Whoa. I'm not sure what we're looking at right off the bat. What? Look at that thing. It's like it moved, but then stopped. And now it's moving again. I don't know. Every time I go out and record, something strange seems to always happen. But Sun Simulator is definitely at, at its at work again here. It's like crazy shaped blue, different shades of blue, and then the white. Look at how oblong and strange shaped it is. Sure, there's the clouds. You know what though? There's really not that much clouds around the, the main part of it. Just a chem haze. Not actual clouds though. That's weird. I wish you could see that. Let's see if you can. Probably not. It's minus one. There, now you might be able to see it. So it's mainly just the clouds above it. Going back down to minus three. You can see the most this way. Strange. All right. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for another day on this earth. Thank you for another day that we're allowed to live on this earth. <coughs> Please, Lord, give people an open mind, an open heart, and open eyes and ears to hear what you want us to hear, see what you want us to see, know what we need to know to prepare for your coming, your second coming. We know that uh, these are the end times, and this generation shall not pass. What is that? What in the world is that? can't see it very well, but it's probably just a cloud, but it's surely strange again. Stop calling me Shirley. Huh. Sorry. <coughs> that happens. Uh, please, Lord Jesus, uh, heal anybody that needs healing today. And I'll continue my, you know, please uh, give us open minds and open hearts to, to hear what you're uh, trying to tell us so we can prepare and and just uh, fill us with the Holy Spirit and give us the full armor of God and Holy Spirit please fill us so we can discern what we need to discern and guide us on our journey to find the truth thank you in your name amen and I'm going to attempt to slide over to get the Bible verse of the day. It is Ephesians 2, 19 and 20. Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. Okay. Whoa! And I say, uh, to the Lord, please uh, show us signs. Show us the signs in the sun and the moon and the stars. And, oh, there's something I've been wanting to do for a long time, and I forget all the time. I wanted to, like, some promote some of other uh, YouTube channels. <clears throat> and I don't want to just throw a whole bunch of names out there all at once. What I wanted to do is, like, throw one out like every day or one out on each video or something like that and I just uh, was promoting Relentless Maverick so he's gonna get a double boost to double uh, shout out today but he's uh, doing a, a bus tour and we're he's gonna just do uh, go to town to town and you know set up the bus and and just talk with people and their experiences and 
go over videos and, and photos. I just do a grassroots one-on-one, -on -one, you know, do interviews, all kinds of great stuff. So I did a video <coughs> right before this and it links to his uh, channel and it will show you, you know, what his plans are and, you know, if you can help, that would be great. But go over there and check that out. And, you know, I've always uh, shouted out to Steve Olson at WSO. So there's another shout out to him. Love you, man. Love your work. Keep it up. Keep the faith. Keep strong. And I'll try to remember. I hope I can remember to keep putting people, uh, people's channels out there. So there's that. All right. So it looks like we don't have anything going on. You know what? It's pretty bright now. I'm going to try to use the Walters lens right now. See what happens. And I don't know if I can do the finger test, but we will try. And I just want to say that I've already done the finger test successfully once. I was uh, right down there, actually, because <coughs> I was back there. But when I went back there, there was all kinds of wasps flying down on the grass. I'm like, what? And please, Lord, protect me from wasps. I think I'm good today and yesterday because of the wind. It's so windy. They're not coming out. <coughs> but I did the finger test. And that's supposed to be like the, the number one uh, proof. If there's an object, you know, you block out the sun with your finger. And if the object's still there, then there must really be something there. When I did it, I had a whole bunch of lens flares. They all disappeared. And, uh object was still there so all right so we got the welders lens at 13 and I got minus three so I might have to brighten up the, the camera lens or maybe not now again you know people always ask when you're filming why don't you uh, tell us what you're seeing well I can't all I can see is this green around the white Sun can't tell if there's anything below it and a lot of times I won't see it until after I play it back. So this is this. This is uh, minus three. I'm going to bump it up to default level and see what, if anything changes. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oops. Alright. There we go. Default. Here we go. Where are you, son? There you are. And again, I can't see if there's anything there or not, but it looks different. See, I'm guessing when it looks like this, this is either it's too bright. Really? It's too bright? Because look when I put it down to minus three. The lowest brightness setting, you can see it. This is how I think it's supposed to look when you go through the welder's lens. So you have to find the right settings, the right brightness and everything. And I don't know if there's anything there or not. Now, uh, this is really hard for me to do. I hold the camera with one, you know, I got a, a Microsoft Surface too, so it's not a phone. A phone's easy. I can put the welder's lens to the phone with one hand and then I can do the finger test. This one's harder, so I'm gonna see if there's a way I can do this without dropping something. So somehow I gotta hold one hand two things at the same time I don't know if I can do it but I'm gonna try please Lord don't let me drop nothing oops and I have to be careful not to turn the camera off either all right yeah I don't know how I'm gonna do this so I gotta hold it like geez. And there's no way for me to secure it this way I'd have to secure it down here but then you can't see. It's not. It's not in the right spot. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Hopefully, I'm in the right spot. Nope. Where am I? There it is. All right, hold on. All right. So there's. If I can try to hold it like this. I have to do that with a cell phone. <sighs> Plus, I'm making this video way too low. <sighs> See, I don't know how I'm going to hold this without 
dropping something. 